Well, the traditional family setup of two straight parents and their children, their biological children, no one else there, is not really the traditional family setup. It was an ideal that was briefly popular, especially in the 1950s and 60s, but for decades and even centuries before that and in the decades since, it has not been the dominant way that people actually organize their family lives, which have just always been more complicated than that. The trend in the last half century has been towards more complexity and more diversity. And part of it is just that we're recognizing complexities that were already there. And part of it is that things really have gotten more complicated as people are married less or divorce more, have more blended families. Part of it is just the visibility. We have less adoption now than we did 40 years ago, but it's much more visible because we don't keep it secret anymore. But we still don't do a very good job of measuring complex families. I can't tell you how many people have a certain non-traditional arrangements because we don't collect that data. Families are about caring relationships and interdependence, producing children biologically, and sexual relationships between monogamous couples are part of that for a lot of people, but not for everybody. It would be good for us to recognize that we all need certain things that families can provide especially caring relationships, especially support of various kinds, including economic support. And if we restrict the definition of families to exclude people who are doing the best they can to make families work for them, then it's going to be harmful for them and harmful for everybody else. Transitions can be difficult for children. Family transitions, people coming and going from the family or household in terms of tragedies like death and so on, we know that's hard, but also just transitions from change that can be difficult. On the other hand, unclear or uncertain or insecure relationships also can be difficult for children. But beyond those factors, the composition of the family doesn't matter that much. That is, if there are caring people available to take care of children, to love them, to respect them and encourage them in their development, then the number of those people and the gender of those people is much less important than the quality of the relationships and the amount of security that children have. Legal recognition can be an important part of making people, especially children, feel like their families are normal and okay, which is pretty important for a lot of children. So having legal recognition that says this is a legitimate family, this is a family that is empowered to have authority over children and take care of them and provide security for them, that can be very important for children. I can't tell you that having a legal arrangement will remove the stigma from a non-traditional family, but I think it's going to help. And over time, it's going to help provide the kind of security that children benefit from. People are gonna to wanna to know, where does this end? What about 20 parents? What about animals being parents? Um, I don't think we need to ask those questions. I think the question is, how can we support the kind of families that actually exist? We know, for example, that three-parent families exist, that people have caring parenting relationships with people who are not their biological parents. And we know that those relationships can be tremendously important and beneficial for children. So you can have downsides in any kind of family, problems of abuse, undefined relationships, lack of close relationships, but I don't see a reason to believe that those things would be more common in one family structure than another necessarily. I think this three-parent family is one innovation that we're going to see happen more often, both legally and in terms of social life, especially with assisted reproductive technology. Adding that third parent is something that is happening biologically uh, more often, and I think it's inevitable that we have to find ways to integrate that into the legal system of families. So this is one innovation that is probably likely to spread and become more prevalent.